Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the screen completely shattered and smashed. So we're going to replace it. By the way, this is Dell Chromebook. Let's check the model number. This is called Chromebook 3100. It takes 11.6 inch screen, 30 pin connector. As you can see, that's the replacement. I got it for 46 pounds and the connector on the left hand side and the screw holes on the sideway, four of them. There are two types, make sure you got the correct one. Make sure you do have the tools, Phillips screwdriver, tweezer, flat opening tool, if plastic would be better, but I used metal one. First of all, turn it off. So first we're gonna remove the sealed, four of them, top of the screw, and then we're gonna remove four screws, and then we'll pull out the actual front bezel. The bezel is quite thick and strong plastic, so that would be easier. And remember, behind this bezel, there are strong adhesive tape underneath. So if you do have hair dryer, it would be better to melt it down a little bit. I'm going to show you in this video how to use it. Actually, the bottom panel is really, really strong. Okay. So now the four screws already removed. We're going to pull the actual bezel out like that. You need to find a gap. Slowly, slowly, if you try, you're going to find out. It's going to make some kinds of crunch noise, which is absolutely fine. And it's not going to break anyway. Okay. And I remove the top panel first, and I'm going to take out the bottom one. And please remember, the hinges cover has a little kind of clip. Okay. I'm going to show you how to open it. If it doesn't open, how to take this out. Apply some heat to make that adhesive softer and you can easily pull out this front bezel.
just a simple advice when you close this LCD flex cable to the actual LCD. It's very flimsy and there are a lot of wires inside. So just gently try to connect it and make sure the connector is flat and alignment is correct. And after you've done that, don't forget to close the buckle, okay? This one would keep the connection secure and safe. Because if you don't connect it properly, then end of the repair, you're gonna find out there is no display. Either the screen is broken or connector is broken, I mean. And the flex could be also ripped off. And once you've done that, don't forget to leave this seal into the place, soft plastic rubber type and then keep the adhesive flatten back of the screen okay and that is the main part honestly and always try to use plastic tools if possible I did metal because I do for such a long time I have control on my hand anyway and now we're gonna put back the four screws just to secure the actual LCD panel into the back plate and you don't have to add any sort of extra adhesive because the original one is more than strong you know So it's all done, uh, everything is fine so far. The screen quality I check, there is no dead pixel. Still, if you do have any question regarding this model, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe if you do like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.